All right, YouTube, what's good? Let's get that on foot going. We have the Surf and Turf Air Jordan 6. These were my first time doing the Surf and Turf theme on a shoe ever. Um, and it's working with the hardest material to work with. This is a Stingray. And it's real Stingray. And it was a bitch to work with. Um, haven't seen anybody use it again in the, in the same effect as this. Because I have it on pretty much the functional parts of the shoe. Which is the toe box. You have it on the side here where the laces go through. So, you know, like it's on pretty much the functional parts of the shoe. Which is hard to show through. And uh, when, I do the, when I take these off and do the... Uh, up close, I'll let you know why um, these were so hard to do and um, some of my errors. But from these, it made everything I did after these better. So, you know, sometimes you show some of your flaws just to show your strengths. So, we'll get into that. Put the Nike gear on the back. Um, you know, because I'm in the OG Sixes, you know. They got the Nike gear on the back, so I wanted to put those on there. Because I've never seen a customizer do that. Most customizers do the laser in. I think that's dope, but I think too many people do it, so I still like to be different and unique. And the one way to be different and unique is I brought embroidery to my customs instead of going with the laser ring. And I brought, like, instead of, like, put my logo on every shoe, I just decided, you know, I'll put the Nike logo back on there or the Jordan logo or whatever, you know. And with these, I put, these are the only ones I actually embroidered my logo on, which is right there. Other than the cork, uh phone posits I did for Lemonhead. He's the only one who has the FBCC logo on his phones. Uh, also have the Freehand Profit lace locks. Uh, these are $40 at Freehand Profit. I think it's Big Cartel. Um, he, he's on Instagram, Freehand Profit. Uh, he's a pretty dope artist. Uh, I even have some sixes inspired by him as well. So, now that we have the on foot, let me pick the camera up. And you can see, sorry about that, guys. Uh, and also, this channel is, I just want you to, uh, you know, uh, because on Instagram, you'll never get to know me because you got to deal with so many dumbasses that, you know, it's a lot of your behavior is reacted. You know, you're reacting to the, to the, you know, to the people who have no talent, but wish they can speak on yours. So, so this way you guys get to know me a little bit more outside of Instagram. So, all right, let's get into the shoe. Hold up. I'm going to take this one off right here for you guys and we'll do the review on these. Let me just walk to the steps and here we go. Okay, so. So what I was telling you guys before about these shoes, and you see this? This is super hard. Like, that's real Stingray, right? Super hard has a dope reaction to the sun. When the sunlight hits it, it just shines like fucking like patent leather or something. So, but it's really hard to sew through. And uh, that's one thing that I learned doing these was, see here? You can see the thread, like, it's popping. I had to go over, like, two times because um, sewing through this many layers... Of a fabric, cause sewing through this is like sewing through plastic, you know. So it, it it didn't give my thread on some parts a clean look. Although on this one it was, I think it's the other shoe. So yeah, this is the second shoe. So this one came out a lot better. Like the thread is is fine. Now let me take off this other shoe, and then you'll see the difference. What I'm talking about. This is why everything is trial and error. You learn, and this was the first shoe that I did with this material. So um, right here, right here, you can see what I'm talking about. See there how the thread miss it slid over? It's because this this hard ass stingray pushed the thread over. So see now I'm showing my flaws. Like I don't care, you know. See right there it missed right there, and it's impossible to sew through that because now I'm sewing through this layer of leather, this layer of leather, and then this stingray. So that's a lot to ask of your sewing machine to do that. So um, let me see. Uh, and you can see the thread would see even here like the thread. This is what I, I'm sorry. Let me uh, fix the camera. All right, I got to zoom out, then to zoom in, because this camera does this dumb shit for me. Sorry, guys. Hold up. I'll do it right now. There we go. All right, so see? See how the thread right there is not as clean as it should be? And that's only because of the stingray. Like, the stingray is... You can see it's like... Imagine if I'm doing this with my nail. Imagine how hard it would be for a needle to sew through that. So that's why that was there. Like I said, I figured out how to fix that. On the other shoe, it doesn't have that floor, but... Like these were hard. These were really hard to do, and these, that's probably why they're my favorite. You also have this thing right here on the back. Yeah, that Nike Air, done by AJ Stitching. Um, that's my brother. He has a shop out in Queens. Um, 
This is the, uh, I don't know what this is actually on the Stingray itself, but it's it's on most of them. It's like an eye on their back or something, but it's a dope, it's like a jewel. It separates itself. Um, it's really popular for people who make belts. They like to have that part on there. So this is an ostrich leather, and it has the FBCC logo right there instead of the Jumpman logo. Um, as you can tell, these were Oreo 6s. Um, and so, um, the lining is a leather lining, like a lambskin. So, that's also, uh, it's soft, but it's also hard to do, sew in, um, after, you know, working with a shoe like this. Like I said, um, you got the Nike Air in the back of this one, the, uh, Stingray. You can see the thread. Whenever you get threads like this that hang off your shoe, all you have to do is burn it with a lighter. You never want to cut threads. You always burn them, and they singe down. And then they don't unravel because they melt, you know? So, now, I want to get into this to this lace lock of this. So, these shoelaces here, people who ask me about these, I'm sorry. Um, I got these from Foot Locker for 99 cents. So, you can find shoelaces like this at Foot Locker. Um, they were pretty dope for the theme of the shoe. And, I, you know, I like it. It kind of looked like Stingray almost. Or look like Oreos, whatever. So, I want to actually uh, pay respect to uh, Freehand Profit right now. And actually uh, review this lace lock. I want to show you guys this. Because I think he does amazing work. And he, um, and this lace lock is from his Army of the Undead Stock collection. It, he has a book. It's an art book of his mask, sneaker mask that he makes. If you never heard of the guy, please uh, do yourself a favor and look him up. All right. So, now that I have this off. Uh, I thought I had it off. Okay, hold on. All right, here we go. So, now that I have that off. And we pretty much, you know, showed these sixes off. We go into this. Because I just feel like his artwork needs to be appreciated. And uh, so, this lace lock, he makes this by hand himself, right? Now, this lace lock, is, if you haven't noticed, it is the Air Jordan 6. It is a sneaker that he cut up and made this dope-ass gas mask. looks exactly like this. And you can see the ankle pods right here where my thumb is at. Which is on the back of the sixes. And I'm going to do this. And then you see the sides of the shoe, which is right there. See that right there? That is actually this. And then you have the tongue right there at the top, which is the two holes. You see the two holes there? And then you see it here. So this is this actual shoe as a mask, and it's on the shoe as a lace lock, which I think is cool. Like I said, these are $40. He has them all kind of colors. He has the ones that glow in the dark. Um, and he has other um, sneaker gas masks and keychains as well. So uh, please support him. Um, he's out of L.A. He's a, like I say, he's a really dope artist, and I'm a fan of his work. And um, probably my next video will be reviewing the Freehand Profit Army of the Undead Stock Sixes. So, um Please subscribe to this channel and let your friends know about this channel. I will be uh, doing tips and tricks on showing you how to uh, customize your kicks and, and things uh, such as that. And maybe some deals and steals as well. But um, And we will be doing a live raffle winner off of this channel. So please uh, stay tuned, man. It's, uh, it's your boy D-Nice. Uh, FBCC NYC is the company. And uh, I'm out of here.